Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another video. This one is going to be a video that is kind of a long time in the making. Back in October uh, 2021, Danny Benner and I had hosted a street photography workshop in New York City. We walked around with a couple of photographers in Soho and Chinatown. So basically what you're going to see here is a POV style video using a GoPro just uh, throughout our day. Um, I probably should have left the GoPro on a little bit more than I did, but you're gonna kind of get a general idea of how our day went. We had such a great time. We had amazing light. We had some rain, we had some dry weather, we had some sun. And uh, you know, I took a trusty camera that I always take for street photography, and that was the Q2. I often shoot the Q2 uh, for street because uh, number one, I love the snappy autofocus. I absolutely uh, am amazed by this lens and I really like the files and the uh, resolution that comes out of it. But I also wanted to bring out another favorite camera of, of mine that I really don't shoot that often for street with this particular focal length. Um, I used my M10. I love the M10. Now we know the M11 is out right now, but the M10 is amazing. Uh, I shot it with a 50 millimeter Summicron. This right now is the 35 uh, Summicron. But I wanted to shoot 50. I often don't shoot 50. Um, 50 for me is uh, more of a portrait length, but I thought it would be nice, it would be challenging to just isolate the subject a little bit more. So you're gonna see that. You're gonna see a lot of shots with the 50. You're gonna see some shots with the 28. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, you'll see some of the examples throughout too. Uh, we are also going to have more workshops in the future. I'm gonna put some dates up for that. So. Uh, make sure you check in on my YouTube channel or check in on Instagram or my website uh, for those dates in the future. Thanks all and uh, check out the video. Okay, here we are. We are day of New York City Street Photography Workshop with Danny Banner and myself, uh, we have some individuals uh, meeting us in Columbus Park, uh, right near Soho Chinatown. Um, this one has not been an easy one. We have been uh, going back and forth with the weather, trying to avoid uh, canceling the workshop due to rain, but it looks like we are a go, so I am on my way up. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to vlog this uh, workshop throughout the day. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to do because I constantly uh, get immersed in what I'm doing and always forget to pull out the GoPro, but nonetheless, um, we're going to give it a try. So stick with us and I hope you enjoy. Later. Again, you'll get people that are totally self-absorbed. I mean, I was like right mm -hmm. on her, yeah. like not even paying attention. He made uh, he made the eye contact, and he's not happy about it. But it right. makes it, it makes it. You know what I'm saying? From a statue. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't happy about that. But I got away quick. Good street. Good street. Yeah. 
So I got this habit of like always trying to, it's not that it's a bad habit, but I always try to have my environment in my scene because for me, I'm like, I'm taking a picture of somebody, like I want to see where they are. That yeah. tells part of like the story, you know? Um, so I tend to shoot wide all the time. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I have another wide lens. I just didn't bring it. No, I mean, I don't mean wide like tele like like landscape yeah. wide. Like I'm like 28. I love 28, okay. 35, so this is, 28. This is like have a field day on this road. Yeah. Oh. Right up here is famous Doyer Street. I'm on the right. Oh. Like, bro, it's like. Yeah, this is a fun street. A good that's a good scene i would like to, what uh, dan Where dan, yeah i would not just be there you and do that there. i would just be you afraid be that he's just gonna lift and what happens up. if he does i guess nothing technically i mean he well, listen it's fun it. it's it's cool that you feel that way and and that's that's but what then makes I you try you, right to do, use other people coming and going right act like they are my focus and then i'm secret taking it so it's like but again easy, take but taking his photo okay. now taking his photo like are you doing anything wrong right. sure. like you're not you know and i find them interesting right probably, so and then sometimes i can't be like you were look so at these guys and again stuff can just be sometimes it's just the street you know exactly um, which is fine too. Sometimes you move closer and you move closer and then you move closer and before you know it, you're right where you want to be. Did he see me? Did he say anything? <laughs> he looked at me, right? Yeah. See, now I like this, too, so, right? Right. So there's mystery here. So I go right up. This would be the shot I want. And you have such a quiet camera. Right. It is. It's great, right? This street is amazing. The bloody angle. Oh, 
the smoke is amazing. See, now I have to have my 50 out. I got. I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to run two cameras here. Plus the GoPro. And plus a GoPro. Chest. I'm gonna stop this for a second. Like this wall is great. Like I don't want to get a picture of Danny on the wall, but like we can see like it's so like lit up nicely, and then it fades I into know, like really darkness. And now, if you completely exposed or even underexposed a little bit the highlights, it's gonna crush the blacks right here. Yeah. And you're gonna get that one person that walks by. That's what I, yeah. That's what I'm and like, it's like you you struck photography street photography gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Danny's taking up the whole freaking thing. But it's all right. It's all right. He's doing whatever he's doing. See, now we just lost a little bit of... Sorry. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. <clears throat> and even sometimes, like, even some, you get, like, a silhouette. You get silhouetted. Yeah. Oh. You know, something like... Yeah. You know, so it doesn't always... They don't always have to be in the sunlight. Sometimes if she's... If if your subject's back there near the light, they're gonna be they're gonna be lit up. I mean they're gonna they're gonna be in the highlight, but if they're a little bit in front of you mm -hmm. and you're exposing for that, you're gonna have you're gonna have a silhouette. You know? You could see the difference. I mean if you were exposing for me right here, I'm gonna be dark. Yeah. But if I'm over here, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really bright. So it all depends on what kind of you know scene you're trying to lay out for yourself. But I don't see anybody walking past. When you're doing this, do you always keep it in a certain stuff like feet? I'm usually at F8. Like I'm hovering yeah. at F8 right now. Um, I like this, but I want to slow down because I don't know if I'm getting any movement here with him. Mm. Well, he looks pretty close in. So I might want to slow this down. I want want to stay at like 250 so I can guarantee that I'm freezing movement. Because sometimes if I shoot aperture priority, depends on where you have your floor at. Right. If you have your shutter speed floor at like 160th on that, because you're doubling, like you're going to catch movement if somebody's at a quick pace, you know? Especially if you're, and then, you know, you got to compensate for, now this guy's coming by. Now this is, this is going to be perfect. F8. And I even like her coming. I'm going to do her this way. Another guy. See, now he's in, she was in the highlight. So she was in the highlight. So there's a big difference between, you know, her right here, mm -hmm. right, in the highlight, because she's right there compared to darkness, mm -hmm. you know, or even this this guy. Look at that one. Because again, he's he's here. This is a really cool. But that, th there's a million of those. There are everywhere. Know, but why are you gonna find the light situation? You look, you can see it slicing down right here, right? Yeah. See, so, you know, I get a panning shot. It's a good spot for a panning shot. Yeah. Trying to wait for a biker to go by. I want to do a panning shot. Oh, he would have been perfect. What's somebody going this way, though? Oh, here we go. It's not going fast, but. Too slow. 
still pretty cool. Oh, wait. Oh, you can. You know how to do that? Well, I don't know. Always pin it down, but yes. So what I do is I, I put it on continuous high. Okay. Like that, 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 that. I lower my ISO to like 100 or okay. 200 on base on that, okay. 160 maybe, okay. and then 1 15th of a second or 1 30th, okay. and then just constantly hold it through and boom. And you're using your aperture, I step down a lot. You're using the aperture to control your exposure. So if it's too bright, then you gotta bring, like right now, my aperture is controlling my exposure mm -hmm. top. So I'll bring it down to where I like it. Mm -hmm. And then again, it's just following people through. Um, you can do it with cars, anything. People, you know, sometimes if somebody's running, you can do it running. Um, it looks kind of cool too. Like at night, like if I wanted to take a shot right now at 15th, especially a crosswalk, you'll get a still image, but you'll get the people walking, you know. Yeah. Oh, you've done panning. I've seen some of your stuff. I did, but not like so technically well. No way. Sure. Uh, so we're kind of close to, if we had a green light and this bike was coming ripping through, it'd be like a home run. This guy's going pretty good. Get him. That guy's a home run. That guy's a home run. Oh, that's so cool. Just like panning shots. Oh, that's awesome. You know? But like I said, it looks good. It, it looks good like on a crosswalk, if again, you're getting a lot of hustle going across and you just drag the shutter because now you're just gonna get all this movement from people. They're fun to do. I like doing them at, uh, at night a little bit more, okay. like sunset. So much, it's so cool. Here you go, here you go. I yeah, I'm, I'm not set up now. I forget to play with stuff like that. In the beginning, when Listen, I, was first time, I do it too. I love playing with stuff like that. Then I forgot all about it because I didn't practice yeah. it in the pops is orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, we were doing yeah. we were doing panning. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So what do you slow down to? Like 60th or 30th? What are you down? 15th, 15th or 30th. Yeah. 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 And I just bah, bah, boom all the way through. It all depends, you know. Um again, bicycles, 15th, 30th. Mm -hmm. It is. And nice and you get the straight line. It gets straight out. It's, gonna it's real out and it's already blurry too. Yeah. And when you when you hit those, right? Don't go all the way through. Follow Even if you through. stop shooting. Right. Bop, 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 you stop. Just follow it through because you're just going to keep you're going to give yourself that that mo that you know, fluid movement. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm this out. Uh, I'm losing the sun. Lost the sun. Ooh. Ooh, it's not a handbag. It's not a handbag, but. What? It's not a handbag, but. Oh, it's not a handbag. <laughs> it is a handbag. It's wrong. It's a bag in his hand. It's yellow. <laughs> 
<laughs> now see, yellow handbag in front of the yellow taxi. Yeah, right. See? When we were coming down here past like those funeral homes, there were a bunch of people dressed in all black and brown, and there was only one of these bright yellow boxes. And I yeah. did, I did that. I just, I, I, yeah. I threw my. I was telling. I was telling Eugene the same thing. I go, you see it? Yeah. Yep. I said that to him. It's a yellow bag, yellow boots. I saw it. I saw yeah. it. See, I saw that coming. Yeah, but yeah. it's on film, so I don't know. I don't know if it turned out. Yeah. Who knows? I'll let, you, I'll let you know in two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Which way you want to go? I don't know. Oh, Eugene's taking pictures. Was going all the way down there. I'm supposed to be able to see it from here. Oh, yeah. well, I see the little cupcake bake shop yeah. sign. Right now, right now it's not so obvious. In a minute it will. Wait, so there's ever lane there? Oh, in a minute it will. Okay. Oh, I, I, I know what you're gonna say. I think I'd be better over this way though. No. You think here? Oh. It's funny. It's good. It's good. That's great. You see it? You're not seeing it? Think outside the box. When you see it, you'll see it. Comic relief. Gotta think of funny. Let me tell you where it is. Don't look at a building. Look more over here. See the sign? Yeah, now shooting I in the middle finger. That's good. I like great, that. Isn't it? That's good. That is good. I, I, I'm like sitting here. I'm like I'm not seeing it because I saw. Yeah. I mean, you can almost see it right now. Yeah. And when you, you said you when you paint? said you're gonna yeah. see it in a minute, and I go okay. And then I kind of looked at it. I go I can kind of see it here. Yeah. That would be cool if. Time out to do that. No, I didn't. I wish I thought of. If you can get if you can get somebody underneath there. Uh, yeah, I did. I got a guy sitting there once. You know, with a 50. Yeah. It might be cool. Did Larry see it or no? He didn't see it, yeah. Larry thought he was going to dive in there. You went too deep, Larry. You went way too deep. He's still not seeing it.
That's funny. That's funny. So what do you want to do, Joe? Do you want to stop and get something to eat? You guys want to keep? You guys want to power through? Or you guys tell me. You know. Listen, I could definitely get something small just to, just to hold, you over hold me bit, over, right? but I don't want to, you know, burn time if we want to go somewhere yeah, else, no, whatever I mean, we want to do. Guys. I don't want to, I, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm game for whatever, yeah, you know? Okay, as you can see, uh, Danny and I had a great time. A lot of those shots were just as I was walking through and I did learn a, a valuable lesson when trying to create content like this. Uh, kind of just keep the GoPro on the entire time. Um, I had this mounted on my chest and I found myself uh, forgetting to turn it on a lot of times. So there's a ton of scenes that you haven't even seen. Uh, throughout the day on our workshop and I have a slew of photographs uh, which I actually captured before the workshop even started and uh, you know throughout the entire day so I'm going to throw up some of my favorites here I'm actually going to create a blog post with um, this entire set as well so you guys can kind of see some of the images that we can get and uh it would be great to see you uh join us on the next one like i said dates will be posted in the future okay guys stay tuned for more images thanks